Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Funny Teddies. So today we are going to have an experiment in my room. Actually it's a home experiment so we don't have a big laboratory or something like a test tube or something. So we just have an ice cream cap, lemon, some LEDs, water and a battery. And a battery. So here what we are going to do is we want to check the conductivity of lemon juice. Actually I think you know that lemon juice contains citric acid. I will explain you everything later after this experiment. So first of all what we are going to do this we have to see this whether this lemon juice conduct electricity or not. So for what we need is a battery. We have two ends wires connected from this. This one and this one. So let's First of all, let's uh, do the necessary uh, things. Hi, and uh, one thing also, we here in this LED light, we have two ends for two different wires. Okay, so we have two ends in this LED light. So let's start. We're gonna fix one end with the, one of the wires. So I think you can see what I've done. I've connected one end of this LED light with this wire. So here the other end, both of its other ends are free, this one and this one. So now our experiment starts. I'm going to put one of this wire, other end of this wire, free end of this wire into the lemon juice. And the other free into the, and also into the lemon juice. So we can see that. Actually, errors are common in experiments. So, when I put this uh, tape with, uh, attach the tape with this bulb and the wire, it was not conducting. So, let's, I'll just coil that wire with this bulb. So, now, one end of that wire goes into the lemon juice and the other end of the bulb also goes into this lemon juice and see what happens. Yes, it's glowing. Let me show you. See, you can see that this bulb is glowing. So, what is the conclusion? What is the result? Actually, the result is lemon juice conducts electricity. But why lemon juice conduct electricity? Actually, lemon juice contains citric acid because acid breaks up into two charges, anion and cation, that we know. When dissolved in water, they conduct electricity because the charged particles are able to flow within the acid. So actually, what happens? We know that why electricity, why uh, um, Metals conduct electricity because they have free at uh, free electrons that move. Actually, flow of electron is called what we call electricity. So when the electrons flow, or the when these charged particles are able to flow within the acid, this acid conducts electricity. Let's do it again. So what is the conclusion? Acid conducts electricity. Thank you all. Do you know what is this? Let's, I will tell you later. So let's take small quantity of this one. Actually I have cleaned this uh, uh, container to do another experiment. Let's add water to this. We want to make it solution. So we have the solution, actually it is not dissolved completely. Let's do our experiment. We have our wire and our battery. So the wire, battery and our LED light. So let's start. One end goes into the solution. See the color is blue. Now just guess what will be that one. Well it glows very light. Actually, even that citric acid doesn't made this uh, LED light to glow this much. So here we have enough. So what actually what is this? This is copper sulfate. The so copper sulfate solution also conducts electricity. 
why just comment to me and in the next video i will tell you the reason thank you